Yo, what is up? It is Test Dummy 22. You are watching Crate Junkies. And some people have been inboxing me lately saying, yo, yo, can you show us your um, hip hop vinyl? So I'm like, well, I don't have much, but I will show you what I have. And a lot of it, if you've been watching my channel previously on Planet of the Geeks, you might have already seen half of this. Then again, there's some stuff that I've never shown before. So I'm just going to dig into it and show you. First, we're going to start off with, and I do want to, off the bat, just say that there's about 600 12-inch singles, um, DJ singles, or whatever you want to call them, uh, over there in the yonder. And then over there, behind me, there's, I'd say, about 50 pitcher rap records that I haven't went through yet. So I'm only going to show you my new, unopened, and stuff on my shelves. So I moved everything over here, and these two, you know, if we can like, kind of turn this and pull it down a little bit maybe. These two shelves here, and then there's a little bit down here. So we're going to do, first we're going to do the unopened stuff. Eminem. Back in Black, Marshall, Marshall Mathers. These are all unopened. MF Doom. And this is uh, Operation Doomsday. Old Dirty Bastard. 36 chambers, return in 36 chambers. This is uh, with a removable laminated food stamp thing, which I'll never open that record. Um, Mad Villain, MF Doom. Ghostface Killer, Iron Man. These are reissues, obviously. This is a uh, remastered audio, gatefold. How I would love to open this, but I just can't. I mean, I've listened to those albums growing up so much that when I got them again on vinyl, I kind of just decided to keep them sealed. This is Busta Rhymes' Anarchy. This and an Extinction Level event were the last two albums I listened to from Busta Rhymes. After that, I kind of uh, lost touch with Busta. But there is a few in here that I got to kind of like... Uh... Anyway, Wu Massacre. This is Red, Red Man, or sorry, Method Man, Ghostface, and Raekwon. Pretty cool team up. That's one I've been wanting to open, man, but just haven't got around to it. This is the remaster of Dr. Dre the Chronic. Um, to correct myself the other day, I showed Dre Day. Um, I showed uh, Dre Day single. That's actually not off the Chronic. I wanted to say that. There's also an EP. I'm not sure if the one I have is an EP. We'll check it out because we're going to get to that later. And I'll let you know then when I get to it. Next one, Eminem Relapse. Out of his recent albums, this is one of the better ones. Um, Recovery was good, but Relapse is, it wasn't isn't too bad. I don't know what happened to this one. Um, down here, it almost looks like something got in there and started to like eat at it. I don't know why... It's like that, but it is. I really have no idea why it's like that. I just noticed that, too. Next one. This is an awesome... This is a killer album. Killer Mike. And this is rap music. This is a fucking really awesome album. I had, I had downloaded it, and I just never opened it when I got it. 
the Jizza liquid it's swords. It's 11 o'clock. And it's 11 o'clock. The Jizza liquid fucking swords. This is probably one of the best Wu-Tang based albums out of all the solo stuff that came out in the 90s after 36 Chambers. I think the Jizza Genius liquid swords there had to have been Probably the best all-around record. Next one, The Riddle Box, The Insane Clown Posse. This was the only record that they came out with with a major label, and that was Jive. Um, I think some other major label might have put out their stuff at one point in time, but this is the one that a major label intervened. Um, they now actually have the rights to this back now. So, hopefully they'll be releasing some, hopefully they'll do some vinyl stuff in the future. The only thing they really ever they ever did on vinyl was their first record was, was on vinyl, but it wasn't like a picture sleeve. Um, and their sixth, well, sixth Joker card album, The Wraith Shangri-La, was released on record too, which I really want to get my hands on. Uh, next one, this is an open copy of the single from Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, Wu-Tang Clan Nothing to Fuck With, and Can It Be That It Was All So Simple. I also have, oh no wait, this is the sealed one, this is the sealed one. I also have an open copy of this, and they're both in like pristine condition. Uh, here's these Busta Rhymes albums that I was talking about. These are ones that I never listened to. This is The Big Bang, and this I think either came... Shortly after Anarchy and ELE, um, I'm not sure if it was this one first or the one I'm about to show you, but these are two two records that I never really listened to by Busta. Genesis being the next one. Um, you know, Busta Rhymes is the man, and I'm pretty sure these are great albums. I just kind of fell away from Busta Rhymes after... Um, after ELE and, and Anarchy. And no, for no particular reason. It wasn't because he was bad or anything. It's just, I don't know, I just I found more interest in other types of music at the time. Um, next one is Black Moon's Warzone. Next one is Obi Trice's second round is on me. And I'm going to kind of try to whiz through these because I did just show these recently. Um, Outsiders, The Bricks, Mad Rapper. Domino, and this is uh, Physical Funk. Mac-10, the, uh, the Paper Route. Alright, those are the sealed ones that are still sealed. Now we're going to get to my stuff on the shelf, which is probably where all the good stuff is. Uh, we'll start down here. Original OG copy of Tupac's Machiavelli. This is, I believe, a double LP. Obviously, one of Tupac's more popular albums. You know, it's funny. Tupac's, you know, so popular. You know, everybody knows Tupac's name, but, you know, half of these kids nowadays could probably barely name you two, two Tupac albums. Um, you know, Machiavelli would be probably the first one you'd hear off anybody's mouth, because this was the one right before he died. It was like almost a lot of his lyrics in this album, like, predict his death. It's like he almost knew it was happening. And then the whole mystery behind Machiavelli where he got the name it, it's just he really did a number on some people um, you know a lot of people would like to argue that Elvis might still be alive I think it would be almost more likely that Tupac is still alive than Elvis because Tupac actually was the kind of person who didn't want to pay taxes didn't want to live by the man you know he wanted to if you listen to his albums and you listen to what he talked about, he is the type of person who would have done something like that. And I almost wouldn't put it past him 
and he had enough money to do it. I'll tell you, he really did. He was a smart man. He made a lot of money, and and he could be living on the island somewhere. But this is a fantastic album. It's it's a must have for any hip hop collection. You have to have that. Um, next is Doggy Style by by Snoop Doggy Dog, and this is another one. This is uh, obviously a digitally remastered copy. I'm looking for an OG, but they're a little expensive. But nonetheless, this is just just like Dr. Dre the Chronic. It's a must-have. You have to have this album. If if you're at all trying to start a hip hop collection, this is an essential. Um, if you know you weren't around in the '90s and you didn't get to hear that type of stuff firsthand when it first came out, you got to go back to that, and you have to start. You know, and I mean, you're going to see a lot of stuff in here that's must-have type stuff. Um, this not being one of them. <laughs> this is Mob Deep's American Nightmare. This is um, after, you know, Hell on Earth, and then there was uh, Murder Music after that, and I stopped listening to Mob Deep after Murder Music, which I also got wrong in my last video. I said after Hell on Earth, which is not true. Murder Music was the last album, full-length album that I listened to of them. This, I believe, came after Murder Music. I could be wrong. Um, but Mob Deep's a great duo hip-hop great lyricist you got havoc and prodigy prodigy being i'd say the more lyrical out of the two he's a little bit havoc's a little bit more hardcore prodigy's got a little bit more foise or whatever you want to call it on his lyrics but it's they're a good group um next this is a classic um this is a, a definitely a classic this is the og original copy of Summertime by DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, and it's got the original sticker here on it, and it's not the, there's also another version that says 98 that came out, and I believe 1998, it was a reissue of this, this album, but uh, this is the original, still in the shrink, still got the sticker, next one, this is also a must have, um, you know, 1999-2000 was Eminem's, he owned, he owned rap music. Um, he was, you know, in 1999 when he came on the scene, this album dropped. It just took the world by storm, and he didn't stop. He was relentless all the way on through, you know, until now even. I mean, the guy's still making half-decent music, you know, and he's somebody that'll go down in history, um, and not for being white either, for being a great lyricist. Um, you know, you could take away his skin color, and he's still killing motherfuckers. He could be a black guy, and he'd still be the man. I mean, lyri lyrically, he's very ferocious, and I don't think I have to tell you guys that. Um, but, speaking of white rappers, these are the number one, okay? There is nothing before, nothing had came after these guys that will ever match the you know, the freaking three horsemen, whatever you want to call them. I mean, these guys, the beastie fucking boys, and this is Check Your Head. This is one hell of an album, as is all of their albums. Um, this is a reissue. Um, this is a reissue on Capitol Records, 180 gram vinyl, just one hell of a fucking record. I mean, probably don't have to tell you that either. This is a 12-inch single by the Beastie Boys. This is uh, Get It Together. Um, this is actually an original. I am so looking for anything Beastie Boys um, vinyl because I am just going through this Beastie Boys stage. And I mean, I, I've been through this stage when I was younger. I went through a big Beastie Boys stage, but for some reason with MCA passing away and just um, getting uh, Hot Sauce Committee 2, which, speaking of, happens to be the next record, Hot Sauce Committee 2, what a fucking album. Another banger, a banger by the Beastie Boys. Um, I mean, what can I say? Some of these tracks on here, like Too Many Rappers with Nas, love that track. And just the bass and just the beats and the just the rhymes. And, and I mean, you know, BC Boys aren't known for their crazy wordplay. They're kind of just, 
they bounce off of each other. You know, they go back and forth with each other, and they do it better than some of the, you know, like Run DMC. I mean, I don't, I don't think, to be honest with you, I mean, Run DMC, you know, paved the way for a lot of hip hop. But the bottom line is, is, is BC Boys did what Run DMC does better than Run DMC, and that's, I mean, that's the truth. Um, not trying to take away from Run DMC at all. They were amazing. I love Run DMC, but. The Beastie Boys just had something that, that, that no one else had and no one else has ever had since them and it probably never will. And it's really sad to see that MCA, rest in peace, has passed away. This is another Beastie Boys record. This is a little different than the rest of them being that this one has no lyrics. This is all instrumentals. Um, I've only listened to this one one time through. This is a reissue. The original one came on gold vinyl. Um, that one's very hard to find and, and pretty expensive. But this one's just a reissue. Um, it's actually an import from England reissue. Um, but some amazing beats, um, jazz, funk, soul, you know, just jamming ass stuff on here. A great record to listen to all the way through. I actually have to listen to it again very shortly because it, it is very good. Um, next one. This is also another album that you have to have. This is Nas's first album, Illmatic. Um, the album that came after this is more, I, I guess it would be more well known by um, mainstream. It was written, was, was a great album, and it came after this. It looked a lot like this, except for Nas was older here on the It Was Written album, but this is Illmatic. This was when he was gritty, grimy, coming out of the ghetto, you know, I mean, this was what everybody wanted to hear at the time, and man, did he do it better than anybody. I mean, you got New York State of Mind being one of the biggest hardcore tracks in hip-hop history, and, you know, no one could write some lyrics like Nas. Not a great freestyler. Nas never was, but he was he was a writer, and he still is a great writer to this day. Um, nothing like he used to be, but definitely an album that you have to get. Nas Illmatic. Next record. This is um, The Prince Among Thieves, Prince Paul. Uh, what more can I say about this record except for that everybody and their mommies on here? You've got Big Daddy Kane here. You've got Everlast. You've got Exhibit and Sadat X. Who else do we got? Um, tons of guys on here. And uh, the buck doesn't stop there. Um, the video for, for this, this, this album. There's a couple videos that came out. And the video for this, this album, they put it all together. It's like almost like a movie. Um, and it's, so it's a wonderful produced. And a, it's just like it tells a story. Um, it's definitely one to pick up. This came out sometime in the 90s, I would like to say. It also came out in 99. Um, definitely overshadowed by a lot of the, you know, like Eminem and stuff like that. Stuff like this was taken backdrop to a lot of that, but still an amazing record and definitely one to pick up. Next one, these are, this is, um, Mind Playing Tricks on Me by the Ghetto Boys. This is a classic. Um, I don't know what more to really say about it, except for it's a classic. Pick it the hell up. The Ghetto Boys are not to be fucked with. Definitely classic rap from down south. Um, I think they were from down... I want to say Texas, but I'm not necessarily sure about that. But I know they were down south some, somewhere. Next one, we got Outkast, AT Aliens. This is their second album, and definitely one of their best. Um, I've said it before, and I'll say it again. Outkast is one of those groups that is timeless. Um, you know, you could put on an Outkast record 15 years from now, and it's going to sound just like you. They, they made it yesterday. You could go back to this, you know... These guys make music that has no sense of time. Um, just amazing. I mean, really. Outkast, one of my favorite rap groups of all time. Um, one of the best duos in all of hip-hop. Um, and there's really not much more to say about it, man. 
This is a 12 inch single by Method Man, Releasio Delf, off of his first album, To Cal, which was definitely an amazing album. Um, Judgment Day was probably an album that overshadowed To Cal a little bit, at least in the mainstream, but To Cal was like his first record. Um, after they released 36 Chambers, every member of the Wu-Tang Clan put out a solo album. And uh, out of all those solo albums, like I said, the Jizzes was probably the best. Um, Raekwon's Purple Tape um, was pretty good. Built on Cuban Links is the title of that. And uh, Iron Man by Ghostface was amazing. Um, RZA took a little while to put out a solo album. His was Bobby Digital, and that came a little later. It actually came closer to later 90s. Took him a while to put out a solo, but um, for the most part, To Cal was, was one of those great albums um, from that time period. Um, and Release Your Delph is a great song. This is The Rotten Rascals, Rotten to the Core. This, I believe, came out in 90, 95. Some good hip-hop there. I'm not going to talk too much about all this. UTFO Crew. Old school hip hop there. That's one of their later records. Um, this is Body Count, Ice T, um, Born Born Dead. This is Ice T's group. Um, you got the whole crew there in the back. Uh, like I said before, these are guys that you do not want your kid hanging out with. You know, um, take a look at these crazy motherfuckers. And Body Count Man is one hell of a fucking. Like, I mean, just killer. Killer fucking crew. Um, what more can I say, man? Sick album. And that's actually still sealed. Um, Sir Mix a Lot, Chief Booty Knocker. The Terror Squad, True, true Story. Yeah. Fat Joe, Big Pun. Some really good good guys to come out of that. Next one we got Bell Biv DeVoe, Hootie Mac. Still looking for uh, Poison. Definitely want to get Poison on vinyl because that's definitely my favorite Bell Biv DeVoe. Uh, next one we got Poison Clan, Rough Town Behavior, which is a 1993 rap group that basically went unnoticed. Not a lot of people even really heard of these guys, but I basically picked this one up. Like I said before, it's a sign of the times. Uh, good nostalgia. Um, you know, you got the guys with the black hoods and the, the guns. and This is, you know, a lot of records look like this back in the 90s. Uh, Tech 9, It's Alive, off of his album Angelic. Uh, if you've never heard Tech 9, what are you waiting for? Type it in right now. Make sure you have some bass. Make sure you ha you're allowed to listen to, to music loud. Wait till the morning time. Type in It's Alive, Angelic, Tech 9 on YouTube, and turn it the fuck up. And I promise you, if you're at the least bit into hip-hop, you will enjoy that album. If you don't, there's something wrong with you. Exhibit. This is one of the exhibit albums I've never really got into and never really even gave a chance yet. This is Man vs. Machine. I just picked this up re recently. This is a promotional copy. Um, but, you know, exhibits the man. I'm pretty sure there's some really good stuff on there. This is uh, Burn Baby Burn, MMG, Too Black, Too Strong, Burning the American Flag. We've talked about some of these recently, so I'm going to try to just squeeze through here. Kid and Play, Funhouse. This is off of the House Party soundtrack. We've got Slick Rick, I Shouldn't Have Done It, 12 inch. Try to roll through these pretty quick here. Uh, we got Eric B and Rock Kim, Move the Crowd. Definitely a classic. We've got Run DMC, Run's House. Whose House? Run's House. 
we've got another Eric B. and Rock Kim. This is paid in full. Pretty popular record here. This is definitely an original. Um, we got Sway and Tech, um, DJ Revolution, this or that. Um, check out the track, The Anthem. Got to check that track out. Um, type it in right now, Sway and Tech, The Anthem. Um, I, I told you that on the other video. I'm telling you again. If you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. Cypress Hill, Hand on the Pump, Sipping on a 40, Smoking on a Blunt, Bust My Gun, Red and Meth. That's not that song, but anyway... Calvin Broadus, Snoop Motherfucking Dog Murder Was the Case soundtrack. What do we got here? Red Man, what the f album? This is Red Man's first record. Now, Red Man's just a crazy New Jersey hardcore, in your face, smack you up, jump around type rapper, man. The guy is a fucking genius um, and a beast on the microphone bottom line get some red men in your fucking life um spody thieves even cheaper nothing too special there what do we got here epmd so what you saying epmd obviously eric sermon definitely some good stuff here definitely good old school stuff uh, this is house party original motion picture soundtrack what collection would be you know not complete with that UTFO crew this is one of their very older records this came out definitely in the late or early 80s late 70s um, I don't think I'm gonna get a date here Definitely probably the early 80s. I'd say probably 84 to 83, something like that. Maybe even earlier. UTFO crew. Um, next, we got Bismarck E, Just a Friend, 12-inch single. And they say, just a friend. Baby, you, you got what I need. You can't beat that. What we got here? Third base, portrait, artist is a hood. This is just a... 12 inch single. Uh, third base, Pop Goes the Weasel. Pop Goes the Weasel. Uh, this is Cool C, Life in the Ghetto. Some more old school. Um, this is kind of going to be my uh, obsession video for. Whoop, whoop. That's the sound of the police. Um, KRS One. This is my obsession. As of right now, my obsession for the last couple weeks has been getting my hip hop collection to where I used to be. Grand Pooba. Um, this is you know how it goes, and this is a 12 inch single, still in the shrink with the sticker, because when I was a kid, I had all this stuff on tape, and. Uh, I still have a lot of those tapes, actually, but I want it all on vinyl. This is Big L, uh, another MC that you know left a little too early on us. Put it on, put it on is the name of the 12 inch. Big L was uh, died a little too young. This is the youngsters, Ill Fu Illy Funksters. Um, I'll make you famous. The thing about this record is Mob Deep is all over this joint. Uh, they're in like four songs, and they also do a remix of one of Mob Deep's songs. Uh, I forget which fucking song it is. I can't seem to find it. But uh, I think they do anyway. Or they, they do a remix of one of their songs with Mob Deep. I know there's like one, two, three tracks with Mob Deep on this. These guys never really went anywhere, but just having those tracks by Mob Deep is pretty cool because Mob Deep used to be one of my favorite rap groups. Um, warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. Warm it up, Chris. That's what I was born to do. Crisscross. Next one, we got Gangstar, Take It Personal. 
Big Shook Guru and Freddy the Fox. Will Premier bring the beats? No, it just don't stop. It's the Militia. That's my shit. That's like my favorite Gangstar song of all time. The Militia. Anyway, some more of Gangstar Mass Appeal. This I have like doubles or triples of. Next one we got, uh, this is a full length, Real to Real Grand Poopa. Still in a shrink with the sticker. Well, not the sticker, just the price sticker. Next one we got LL Cool J's The Definition. This is one I never, I have doubles of this one. Anybody that wants that, let me know. Uh, Jamal Fades Them All, 12 inch. I'm more of a bad LL fan. I'm a, I'm a LL fan of him back in the day. Uh, Mrs. Boss Deeper. Not really too familiar with that. That just happens to be in there. I have no idea what the fuck that is. Uh, Why is Intelligent Killing You? Some of this stuff like that and the one before that I'm not really too familiar with. Uh, this is Super Cat, Girls Town. This is Fife Dog, Flawless, backed with Let Me Find Out. Let Me Find Out. Shit, let me find out. Delinquent Habits, featuring Smash Single, The Delinquents. I remember this coming out, man. Never listened to it. I have it on vinyl. I've never listened to it. I it's just I just have it. You know. You know how you have stuff. And this is uh Bahamadia. This chick got skills. Bahamadia, I was first in introduced to her off of Sound Bomb in Volume Two. Man, I remember that one track. I think it was her and Tylee Kwali or something and, and man Shoo Man does this girl got some skills. Wonderful voice. Great rapper. Bahamadia, cool name too. Um, here we go. Smooth operator, Big Daddy Kane. What are you gonna do about that? Big Daddy Kane stuff, man, is hard to find, especially in good condition. Uh, Kid Flash, he's in effect. I don't know much about that one. Some of these I gotta go back and listen to. Um, this is Lakim Shabazz, the 45 King presents Lakim Shabazz. Pure Righteousness. Militant, not militant. Um, I forget the word I'm looking for. Time to Flow, D-Nice. <sighs> DJ Jazzy Jeff and Fresh Prince, I Think I Can Beat Mike Tyson. Remember that one? That's how I remember that shit. It's crazy. Terminator X featuring Houdini and Godfathers of Threat. It all comes down to money. Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. It takes two to make a thing go right. We still got a whole other cube, guys. This is a long video. But I wanted to get this logged. Okay, the DOC. Lord of Lords, King of Kings. Um, it's funky enough. 12 inch. It's one guy I want to get some full lengths. That's on a Red Ruthless Records label, too. It's pretty nice. I like the Red Ruthless Record labels, not the silver ones. This is Heather B., another female rapper. Definitely pretty, pretty good female hip hop. We got Luke, It's Your Birthday. This is a 12 inch single. I've always been kind of. Um, weird about this because it says here has a sticker on it, it says sale for twenty four ninety nine. It seems a little expensive for a twelve inch single with only six songs on it. Just saying. I mean did someone really pay twenty four bucks for that? Um this is Houdini, the haunted house of rock. This is on a I'm pretty sure I passed some other colored vinyl up, but this one I really like. It's on this uh Green vinyl, I love that label. Run DMC. Run. 
Bud's house. Next one is Run DMC Down with the King. Next one is Public Enemy. Brother's gonna work it out. Ain't the wind's blowing my doors. Anyway, Brother's gonna work it out. Ain't ain't nigga, anti nigga machine. Empowered to the people. DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince. This is the album with um, Nightmare on My Street is on here. He's the DJ. He's the MC. Or he's the rapper. Dr. Dre, Dre Day. Um, yeah, this is the... I think this is the EP. It has 187... Original track from the motion picture Deep Cover, which is the track first first um, Snoop Dogg track ever. Um, Dre Day extended club mix, puffing on blunts and drinking Tang Array, unavailable on the LP. Dre Day and Dre Day LP version and Dre Day radio mix. So that's cool. I think that's. I think this is the EP. I don't know. I'm gonna do some more research and find out. Um, this is awesome. Return of the Living Bassheads. Probably one of the coolest. I don't know. One of my favorite Public Enemy songs, anyway. Some more Public Enemy. We got Night Train. And this might end up turning into two videos unless they up let me upload the whole thing. This is another one, Public Enemy, Welcome to the Terra Dome. Public Enemy, 911 is a joke. And we got Red Man, Doc 2000. This is a good record. Definitely a good record. That's a double LP. Next one, we got A Tribe Called Quest Jazz 12-inch. Ghostface Killer Motherless Child 12-inch. Boogie Down Productions. What is this? By All Means Necessary. KRS-One. Boogie Down Productions. Stakes is High. De La Soul. Very proud of my two De La Soul records. They're in like mint condition. The Low End Theory. No hip hop collection is complete without it. If you have a hip hop collection and don't have that record, then you don't have a hip hop collection. Same thing with this. Three feet below and rising. Or three feet high and rising. <laughs> Same thing with uh, the other De La Soul record I just showed, Stakes is High. you got to have that, too. Um, there's a lot you have to have. This is a newer hip-hop record, Aesop Rock. Um, what's the name of this? Skeleton. Nothing special. Um, Necro. Cockroaches. Burn the groove to death, kid. Fuck you to the track in STD. If you're looking for sick, Necro's fucking sick. How high? Method Man and Red Man. 12 inch. Cypress Hill. Insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. LL Cool J. Mama said knock you out. I'm gonna knock you out. Ice Cube, you know how we do, off of Lethal Injection 12-inch. Another one. Ice Motherfucking Cube, Kill It Will, full length. 
pretty proud of this one too. This one's in great shape. See, a lot of hip hop records, man, it's one thing. If you're collecting hip hop records, you kind of got to come to a realization that you're probably not going to find everything in great condition. Um, you know, when you're collecting rock and other things like that, you can usually find good copies of stuff because there's so much of it. But with hip hop, a lot of the people who owned the hip hop back in the day, if you're looking for original stuff, beat the hell out of it. So it's hard to find hip hop that's in 100% mid condition. So you basically just take what you can get when it comes to hip hop. That's one thing that you gotta know when it comes to collecting hip hop on vinyl. Unless you want to get reissues everything, which is really no fun. To be completely honest. Um, here's another one. This is an original too. I mean these are all originals. Ice Cube, America's Most Wanted. And this, some of these are in pretty good shape. Some of them, not so much. Um, Professor X. They don't know Jack. Fucking dope ass picture, right there. This is the bad boy right here. This is another one of those you do not have a collection if you do not have this record type of deals. This is Wu Tang Thirty Six Chambers. Came out in 93. If you don't have this record, go fucking get it. Still as impactful today as it was however long ago. Here's another one. Public Enemy, Fear of a Black Planet. You gotta have this too. You gotta fucking have it. There's a lot that I don't have that I should have, to be honest. Um, ready to Die. Notorious B.I.G. OG, oh, baby. Double LP. What do we got next? Ooh, another Ghetto Boys. This is uh, Fifth Ward Chronicle, Till Death Do Us Part. This came out in 93. Here's another one. Check that out. Probably one of the, I'd say one of the coolest covers. Tribe Called Quest, Midnight Marauders. Another one that you should definitely have. Um, Spoonie G, The Godfather of Rap. Shaheem, The Rugged Child. Mob Deep, Shook Ones, Part 2, 12 inch single. Easy motherfucking E, Easy Does It. This is an original Ruthless Records copy. This is one badass record. But, it's not the Easy E record I'm looking for. Jay Z, Dead Presidents, Ain't No Nigga Like the One I Got. 12 inch with the sticker. Wu Tang Clan. Wu Tang Forever. Double LP original copy. DJ Clue the Professional. Jay Z. Volume 2 Hard Knock Life. Definitely one of Jay's fucking best albums. Back when I used to actually like Jay Z. Um, Coolio, Too Hot, Gold Label, Promotional. Mob Deep, Infamous, Infamous, Double LP, their best record, okay? Hands down. Was I remember playing Super Nintendo, Mario All Stars, and just bumping the fuck out of this record while it was kicking the hell out of mushrooms and turtles and stuff like that. That's an original copy. The Roots, 12 inch. Don't say nothing. The Grave Diggers. Diary of a Bad Man and Constant um, What is it? Constant Elevation. The fucking Grave Diggers. Dude, go get Sick Pickle and Axe or Sick uh, Pickle... Well, I can never say it right. Axe, Pick, and Sickle. Or Sickle, Pick, and Axe. I think that's the name of the album. 
or go get, um, was this off of that record? I can't really remember if this is off. Or is it is the name of this record Diary of Madman? I'm not sure, but I know Sick uh, P Pick Sickle and Axe is a great fucking record. And uh, but I know Diary of Madman has a great song, Constant Elevation. I mean, Grave Dig is is the RZA, it like alternate group besides the Wu Tang Clan. Um, and I'll tell you what, they are just as good as the Wu Tang Clan. Um, definitely some more like crazy, off the wall shit. This is um, Death Certificate by Ice Cube. This one's a little warped. Not much. It's not that it won't play. It's just got a little warp to it. Um, like the whole record kind of tilts a little bit. But it's still good. This is Wicked Ice Cube 12 inch single. This is an original mint. I mean, these are. See, everything. Uh, see, that's the only one that I have that's a little fucked up by Ice Cube. Is that, that, that last one I showed you. Everything else is great. Check yourself. 12 inch. Well, these are all in great shape. Red Man. Um, what is this? Blow Your Mind. 12 inch. Ain't no nigga like the mother I got. No one can fuck me better. Keith motherfucking Murray, the rhyme, off of the album Enigma, which I'm going to show you next. And this, if it was up to me, I'd say to you. This is a record that you have to have, too. Keith Murray's Enigma. If you're a lyricist... And this is a gold stamp promo, too. And I got this for a buck. Double LP. Got the sticker on it now. So happy when I found this. One of my favorite records of all time. I had that on tape. I still have the original tape I had when I was a kid with that one. Well, as with a lot of these, to be honest. This is CNC Music Factory, not necessarily rap, but it just happens to be in there. Um, this is the Cottonmouth Kings, the Green Album. This is a really good record, uh, both on green vinyl, double LP, really nice. Fucking any Cottonmouth Kings album is a good album, man. They're just great music. Um, next one we got Slick Rick, The Adventures of Slick Rick, fucking classic, original, OG. Origin now. Um, next one we got is Fat Boys Are Back. Original copy. And we're getting down here to the end. 12 inch singles, Put Your Hands Where My Eyes Can See by Busta Rhymes. I actually have like two or three of these. It's in great shape. One of his, one of my favorite songs by him. Uh, next one, there's that open copy of the 12 inch. Wu Tang Clan, not to fuck with. And last but not least, on the shelves, we've got Death Grips, The Money Store, obviously a newer rap group. And that's it for the shelves, guys. Um, everything else is behind me, and one of these days I'm going to go through that stuff with you and also show some of the 12 inches I have because there's a couple 12 inches that I have that are very very cool um, for history purposes um, so I mean obviously I showed a lot of 12 inches in this but I'm talking about DJ 12 inches the ones with the hole in the middle um, not pitcher 12 inches so that's it, man. Crate Junkies, that is my hip-hop collection as of now, as of September 18th, 2012. That's going to grow. Give it another couple months, and that will probably double the triple, um, because I'm really on a gotta-get-the-shit-I-had-when-I-was-younger kick. Um, so, 50 minutes long, I probably won't even be able to upload this whole thing, but if I can, that's great. I'm going to go to the Facebook page. Peace. The fuck. And but just haven't got around to it. This is the remaster of Dr. Dre the Chronic. Um, to correct myself the other day, I showed Dre Day. Um, 
I showed uh, Dre Day single. That's actually not off the Chronic. I wanted to say that. There's also an EP. I'm not sure if the one I have is an EP. We'll check it out because we're going to get to that later. And I'll let you know then when I get to it. Next one, Eminem Relapse. Out of his recent albums, this is one of the better ones. Um, Recovery was good, but Relapse is, it wasn't, isn't too bad. I don't know what happened to this one. Um, down here, it's, it's almost looks like something got in there and started to like eat at it. I don't know why it's like that, but it is. I really have no idea why it's like that. I just noticed that, too. Next one. This is an awesome... This is a killer album. Killer Mike. And this is rap music. This is a fucking really awesome album. I had, I had downloaded it, and I just never opened it when I got it. The Jizza Liquid it's Swords. It's 11 o'clock. And it's 11 o'clock. The Jizza Liquid's fucking Swords. This is probably one of the best Wu-Tang-based albums out of all the solo stuff that came out in the 90s after 36 Chambers. I think, um, you know, Busta Rhymes is the man, and I'm pretty sure these are great albums. I just kind of fell away from Busta Rhymes after... Um, after ELE and, and Anarchy and no for no particular reason it wasn't because he was bad or anything it's just I don't know I just I found more interest in other types of music at the time um, next one is Black Moon's Warzone next one is Obi Trice's second round is on me, and I'm going to kind of try to whiz through these, because I did just show these recently, um, Outsiders, The Bricks, Mad Rapper, Domino, and this is uh, Physical Funk. Mac 10, the uh, the paper route. All right, those are the sealed ones that are still sealed. Now we're gonna get to my stuff on the shelf, which is probably where all the good stuff is. Uh, we'll start down here. Original OG copy of Tupac's Machiavelli. This is, I believe, a double LP. Obviously, one of Tupac's more popular albums. You know, it's funny. Tupac's, you know, so popular, you know, everybody knows Tupac's name, but, you know, have Yo, what is up? It is Test Dummy 22, you are watching Crate Junkies, and some people have been inboxing me lately saying, yo... Yo, can you show us your um, hip-hop vinyl? So I'm like, well, I don't have much, but I will show you what I have. And a lot of it, if you've been watching my channel previously on Planet of the Geeks, you might have already seen half of this. Then again, there's some stuff that I've never shown before. So I'm just going to dig into it and show you. First, we're going to start off with, and I do want to, off the bat, just say that there's about 600... 12-inch singles, um, DJ singles, or whatever you want to call them, uh, over there, in the yonder. And then over there, behind me, there's, I'd say about 50 pitcher rap records that I haven't went through yet. So I'm only going to show you my new, unopened, and stuff on my shelves. So I moved everything over here, and these two, you know, if we can, like, kind of... Turn this and pull it down a little bit, maybe. These two shelves here, and then there's a little bit down here. So we're going to do... First, we're going to do the unopened stuff. Eminem. 
back in black, Marshall, Marshall Mathers. The Jizz a Genius Liquid Swords there had to have been probably the best all-around record. Next one, The Riddle Box, The Insane Clown Posse. This was the only record that they came out with with a major label, and that was Jive. Um, I think some other major label might have put out their stuff at one point in time, but this is the one that a major label intervened. Um, they now actually have the rights to this back now, so hopefully they'll be releasing some... Hopefully they'll do some vinyl stuff in the future. The only thing they really ever they ever did on vinyl was their first record was, was on vinyl, but it wasn't like a picture sleeve. Um, and their sixth, well, sixth Joker card album, The Wraith Shangri-La, was released on record too, which I really want to get my hands on. Uh, next one, this is an open copy of the single from Wu-Tang 36 Chambers, Wu-Tang Clan Nothing to Fuck With, and Can It Be That It Was All So Simple. I also have... Oh, no, wait, this is the sealed one. This is the sealed one. I also have an open copy of this. And they're both in, like, pristine condition. Uh, here's these Busta Rhymes albums that I was talking about. These are ones that I never listened to. This is The Big Bang. And this, I think, either came shortly after Anarchy and ELE. Um, I'm not sure if it was this one first or the one I'm about to show you. But these are two two records that I never really listened to by Busta. Genesis being the next one. These are all unopened. MF Doom. And this is uh, Operation Doomsday. Old Dirty Bastard. 36 Chambers, Return in 36 Chambers. This is uh, with the removable laminated food stamp thing, which I'll never open that record. Um, Mad Villain, MF Doom. Ghostface Killer, Iron Man. These are reissues, obviously. This is a uh, remastered audio, gatefold. How I would love to open this, but I just can't. I mean, I've listened to those albums growing up so much that when I got them again on vinyl, I kind of just decided to keep them sealed. This is Busta Rhymes' Anarchy. This and Extinction Level Event were the last two albums I listened to from Busta Rhymes. After that, I kind of uh, lost touch with Busta. But there is a few in here that I got to kind of like... Uh... Anyway, Wu Massacre. This is Red, Red Man, or sorry, Method Man, Ghostface, and Raekwon. Pretty cool team-up. That's one I've been wanting to open, man.